to start out? You want to start? I'll start. Right. Or we can continue with the music. Welcome back, everyone, to the Weekly Flare Podcast. We're here to now to talk about our favorite thing to talk about, Kickstarter. Should I have said our favorite thing to talk about in the second half of the show? Probably. I think majority of the second half of our shows have had Kickstarter involved in some way. Yes, definitely because of the technology. You know why? Because Kickstarter is cool, even though neither of us have ever backed anything. Not that we wanted. Like, my watch was a Kickstarter project. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just... Everything I would fund has already been completely funded, so I'd rather, rather wait till after the funding period and actually purchase it once they start production. So, I think that's fair. Yeah, definitely. But there's some cool stuff. Anyway, so this week on Kickstarter, what we saw was a water bottle called Hydrate Me. How is that spelled? Is it H-I? It's like H-I-D-R-I-T-M-E. Yeah. 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 Hydrate Me. It is really cool. Um, Apparently, so this water bottle is 24 ounces. Chris, you actually sent this to me, which was funny because I had seen it before that, and then you sent it to me. I heard it on the radio all the way. And then another podcast that I listened to uh, also talked about it the other day. And they talked about another one of our stories that we're going to talk about, too. And uh, I'm kind of upset because I feel like some weeks that everything I pull, the same podcast talks about, I'm like, ah, stop it. Yeah. But, oh, well. Anyway, so hydrate me. Back to hydrate me. So this water bottle is 24 ounces. And it is a Bluetooth to your phone. And it'll tell you when it's time to drink more water, how much water you drink. Like, takes into account all sorts of stuff. And it'll glow. So if you have it sitting, like, on your desk, It'll just start to glow, and it's like, hey, it's time to drink more water. You haven't been drinking enough water. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's just cool. Like, and then they like stylish designs, and not just like ugly, like industrial designs, no. but they're actually, they're like that type of um, like fourth dimensional looking stuff. Yeah, they have some cool curves cuts and, and cuts and cool colors. They, I like. It's kind of hard to talk about a water bottle for very long because at the end of the day, it's still just a water bottle and like. All the features it has, I literally just told you. It Bluetooths yeah. to your phone, has a sensor in it that knows how much water is in the bottle, so it knows how much you've been drinking, how long it's been since you've taken a drink. Um, if you don't like bottles that have straws you have to suck on, like most of the Camelback bottles, good news, doesn't have one. It also means it doesn't have a filter, so if you don't like the taste of tap water, you're going to taste the tap water still. They might come out with something in the near future because I know Camelback so, has a has a Camelback now has actually two different filter bottles. They have one that is just like a chlorine filter for like tap water. So like you couldn't take that like out of a creek. It has to be already like processed city type water mm-hmm. that you would drink out of a faucet or like a fountain or something, right? And then they have one that is like a UV filter that actually can kill like organisms in the water. So mm-hmm. you could fill that one up out of the creek. So um, I have the one that just takes the chlorine taste out because I just don't like I, I just don't, don't like that I chlorine do taste. That. It's gross. It's not gross. I just would rather not have it if I can. I get that's like super first world problems. But if you were to take your water like from the sink, mm-hmm. can you drink it that way? Out uh, of the sink? Yes. Yeah. I'm very picky. A lot of people drink tap water. I'm that's very, tap water. Well, yeah. I'm very picky. Now, not in all places, mm-hmm. but pretty much anywhere in the U.S. you I, can do that. I can't drink water out of... Tap. It needs to be if it's out of the tap. It needs to be freezing cold. Yeah. Because it tastes awful to me. Yeah. It's, it's just it's all just... the minerals and stuff that they either can't get out because of the way the tap water is filled. It has a lot to do with where you are located. If you're at the beach, if it's hard water, soft water. There's a lot of things that go into making tap yeah. water taste different the... ways. And that's why I have my box. That way, at least it always tastes the same. Yes. I think we did talk about. I don't know if we that's, talked about this. That sounds really petty, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, remember back then when we went to... Well, I did tell you the story of how my fish died? Yeah. Cause you I got another one, it. and it died. And the issue that is out here in where we live is a lot of the water that's pulled into our sinks is with chlorine. Yeah, they, they do it with chlorine. And I still treated the water, and it still killed the fish. I don't know why. So chlorine just... It's awful. And now, somebody told me to use spring water, you know, take it from the water bottles. The fish might survive. But... Some people awesome. really don't mind that they don't notice the chlorine taste, so they don't mind. I don't mind it. Like I'll drink it, but like I'd rather not. If I could have a choice. If you were to take, uh, well, see the funny thing is, is what I like is actually tap water, Aquafina mm-hmm. Dasani. Do you drink Deer Park? I mean, I'll drink any bottle of water if that's what there is to drink. Like, if I drink Deer Park that is not refrigerated, I get a very bad aftertaste. So the minerals, because it's a spring, it's a fresh spring water, yes. right? Yeah. I don't like it. 
So you drink like the sign that's like reverse osmosis with added minerals. Can you taste them in that? No. But you, you, you're fine with like Aquafina though, which is the same thing. It's a spring, isn't it? That's just reverse osmosis. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. It is to me, I mean, Arrowhead is okay. Dasani and Aquafina are good. This has nothing to do with this high drinking bottle. No, but it's just water. But it does have to do with water. And people are picky about their water, which, again, um, it's kind of silly because there's places in the world where you just can't drink water that you get anywhere. You're going to have a faucet. Um, so this is cool. Now, I'm, I'm not going to fund this because, one, it's like way overfunded already. At least, yeah, it was overfunded yeah, when you sent it to me, wasn't it? And two, it doesn't have a filter, which is fine. But they said that they might, they have plans to do one with a filter. Uh, so I'll probably wait and see what they do with that. And then, yeah. They come in really cool but colors. But let us know what you think yeah. about it. We'll put a link. Let us know what you think about, one, this water bottle, and two, if we're being too picky about water, which I think we are. Yeah. I agree. We're being too picky about water. This is ridiculous. But I can be, so I am, I guess. That's it's our podcast. That's very American of me, isn't yeah. it? I don't care. I'm being picky about my water. I'm sorry. I really try not to be that way, but it's just, it's water. It shouldn't taste like anything, so I want it to taste like nothing. Best water, hands down, is Fresh Creek, Montana water. Best water, hands down, is water that tastes like nothing. Montana water is like that. Uh, Snow cap. Cool. Um, Chris. Yes. You know what the best thing is not? What? Evil drones. So we saw this video of a parody of horror movies done with a drone. And basically, these this couple, like, they move into a house, and they get a drone. And, and a camera on it. And then the drone, of course, has a camera. The drone comes alive, starts following them around. Uh, it apparently, well, there's some stuff. We don't want to spoil it. But, dude. It's a little gory, and there's one cuss word in it. Yeah. One, uh, there's just the one, right? I think so. I think it was just the one. Um, but we'll link it. You need to go watch this. If you're watching live right now, when we're done, go search Evil Drone Parody. And the first thing that pops up should be like a CNET UK page. They have it linked right in there. Um, it's called The Drone Trailer Number 1. Man, it's hilarious in like a spooky kind of way. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're into horror movies and parodies or one or the other, you should go check this out because it was hilarious. I showed Rachel and she was like watching it at first. She was like, and then she like, it got like kind of in the middle. She realized it was kind of a joke and she just like started laughing and uh, you did the same thing. You started about halfway through, you realized like it was a parody and you just started dying laughing. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's hilarious. It's just funny. It's like I said, it's a little gory though. So, uh. If you're not into the gore thing or if you have an uneasy stomach, I would pass. But if not, I'd watch it. Definitely. Because it's good. But you know what's not good? What's that? Well, it's good if you're trapped in an elevator. <laughs> Toilets in an elevator. Have you ever been trapped in an elevator? Actually, no. I haven't either. I have never been trapped in an elevator, which is surprising because I ride a lot of elevators. Sometimes I just go to the mall and ride the elevator up and... No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. I just... Certified by Sherry Berry. <laughs> right? That, that's the elevator inspector from North Carolina. They knew we were in North Carolina, right? Yes. I think so. They don't know a part. Well, they do. I mean, yeah. I'm sure we've said it before, but oh well. Anyway, so in Japan. Um, they have earthquakes in Japan. People get stuck in elevators in Japan. Sometimes for a really long time. And... Um, so recently, in the, like the last few years, they've put emergency boxes in elevators that include a portable commode, exactly their words, not mine, that, you know, if you get stuck in the elevator and have to go to the bathroom, there's somewhere to go, mm. which is nice because sometimes people get stuck in elevators for a really long time. And now, the Japanese government says a portable commode is not enough. We want running water with flushable toilets in the elevators. I guess this happens a lot in Japan, where yes. people get stuck in elevators. Well, it started out with their problem with the tsunami that hit a couple years. I think 2012, the tsunami that hit. People got stuck in elevators, and they say when this stuff kind of happens, I think they said 180,000 people get stuck in elevators. So they're going to start putting... That's a lot of people yeah, stuck in elevators. Yeah, they're going to start putting you know, their toilets. They're going to start putting water bottles. And I think this is only accessible in these emergencies. It's supposed to only be accessible in emergencies. Yes. Which I don't know how they can regulate no power. Like... 
Uh, I don't know. It, must, it has to be some sort of mechanical something mm. that when the elevator gets stuck, or, I don't know. Kind of like how devices fall in front of your face. Yeah, like fix yeah. It yourselves in front of others. Right. Fix yourself in front of others? <laughs> That's awkward. Um, but no, Japan, um, if you don't know this, so apparently this happens a lot in Japan. People get stuck in elevators. And so you don't know, you may not know this, but uh, Japan is known for having leading toilet technology. Like they're known. That's something they're known for. I is not having know like the best toilets in the world. What are apparently the... everyone who goes to Japan, at least everyone that I have had communication with that goes to Japan, which is most people in like the video game journalist industry or the tech industry, they all say how great the toilets are in Japan. Now I don't know why with the toilet, but apparently they're really nice. So it makes sense that Japan would be like, hey, we need toilets in the elevators. When people get stuck in them. What do you think, Chris? I, I guess I, I, I'm just speechless. Would you use an elevator toilet? Um, I'm going to have to do it like uh, how my mom did it when I was really young. Turn around, face the corner. What? Were you ever little and you'd go out? Yes, everyone was little. Yeah, okay. And so like you'd have to go to the bathroom with your mom in the stall or your Why dad? Why would I go to the bathroom with my mom? Oh, it was when you were little. Like, never mind. You know what? That's awkward, man. My, I had to sit in the corner facing the opposite way in the corner when my one of my parents went to the bathroom. It's it, terrible. It, it was awful. I, I'm scarred. No, I never remember doing that. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I tried to talk about toilets and Chris just had to make that awkward. Yeah. You had to talk about your toilet problems earlier. Man, that was a good toilet problem and I should have saved it for the transition to this story, but oh, I just wasn't man. thinking about it. That's embarrassing. Yeah, it's life. That is. We have anything well, else? I have a lot of funny toilet stories, but I don't want to talk about them on the podcast. I, it's kind of gross. I actually do have some great toilet stories. Uh, no. So, Chris, uh, there's something big coming up next week. What's that? It's called E3. Yes. E3 yes. So, I was trying to get it where we could do some live streaming, some reactions, some post shows. The video's not going to work out, probably. Uh, the buddy, My buddy I was going to do it with uh, has some other stuff he has to do also in between the shows and during the shows. For his podcast. Okay. So I'll probably just be doing some blogging and tweeting. But we're still going to do some coverage, but it won't be any video-based coverage. It'll be mostly tweeting, uh, blogging. But everyone who's watching is probably going to be watching the live streams of the conferences anyways. Is it, is it all day? Yeah, it's all day Monday. Mm, I won't be covering Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday. No, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Because I'll be at work, I'll be back at work those days, so I'll only be covering the press conferences on Monday. So, are you taking off for the press conference? I'm taking off work Monday for the press conference. Okay. Just Monday, I won't be covering the Tuesday press conferences until after 5 p.m. Eastern time, 5:30, whenever I get off work Eastern time that night, and then Tuesday, thir- Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday coverage will just uh, probably wait till next week's podcast if there's anything interesting to talk about. Now, what what are the times that they do it? The press conferences start Monday, well, there's one Sunday night, actually. Sunday night at like 8, no, 10, 10 p.m. I don't remember if that's Eastern or Pacific time, though. And then Monday morning, the, the press conferences start at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Okay. And um, then they go for about an hour, hour and a half, and there's about a half hour break, and then the next one starts, and that goes pretty much all day Monday. Well, you weren't wanting to do like a special coverage next Wednesday? And we'll probably have a, our second half of the show next week. We'll probably mostly all be E three talk, okay. even though you don't have any video games right now. But no. it'll probably next week be a lot of E three talk. The second half of the show. So, but like I said, if you want some coverage, if either you're at work or you just like to know other people's reactions, I'll be tweeting and blogging about it. But during the show, I'll be tweeting. After the shows, I'll be doing a quick blog summary of anything that I thought was particularly of interest. And otherwise, we'll do talks later after. So that's E3. That's our E3 coverage. That's the official word on how we're covering E3 this year. So that's that. So, Chris. Yes. Anything you want to plug this week? That's about it. I'd like to do some shout-outs. Okay, do some shout-outs. So people that are listening, um, we're live Every single Wednesday, 7.45 on Periscope and Meerkat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm personally a Meerkat kind of guy. It just seems to get more traffic. Anyways, let's see here. We got Curtis in here. Yo. 
Uh, Michael, what's up? You got some Mary in there as well. Ryan. Her name was some Mary? Some Mary. Wow, that's we, cool. And for the whole entire podcast, we got Roberto. Hello. And the majority of the time is Ryan. So, Ryan. Um, thank you very much for joining. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and our, look at our website. Um, where can they find us on our website? Theweeklyflare.com. Weeklyflare.com and the Facebook? The Weekly Flare. The Weekly Flare pod. Okay. Just the Weekly Flare. The Weekly Flare. Same thing on our Twitter? Same thing on Twitter and Instagram. Periscope, Meerkat is all the Weekly Flare. It's all the Weekly Flare. The only thing that's different is on YouTube, where it's the Weekly Flare podcast. Perfect. Because that's what YouTube said we had to do. So I did it. So we can be on YouTube for all you people watching on YouTube who love us on YouTube. Or like to watch us to make fun of us on YouTube. Probably do. I'm fine with that as well. You guys, please give us some feedback. Maybe uh, let us know if we should add a segment or uh, drop a segment. Uh, talk about some interesting stories. Send us some stories in our email. What's our email, James? Our email is podcast at theweeklyflare.com. They'll tap straight into uh, our devices here and we'll respond or we'll take a look at what you have to say. Clean. clean. Uh, I got some funny stories possibly sent to us as well. Um, I mean, really, you can send us anything, but if we don't think it goes on the show, we can mm-hmm. put it on the show. Pretty much how we cool like that. Yeah. If you're a first time listener or anything like that, that's how we do. We do some positive stories, technology, some funny stuff, amiibo stuff from his oh, perspective. Amiibo. As you can see, we got a bunch back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, thank you for the people that have joined us tonight. Uh, James. Chris. Where do you sit online? I sit online at the Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at James Walter. And just find me there, and everything that you want is there. I uh, tweet during the uh, WWE pay-per-views. I tweet about video games. I tweet about stuff that happens in life. And whatever you post on Instagram goes to the weekly Twitter. Flair. Stuff goes to the mm-hmm. weekly Flair. Definitely. Yeah. Chris, where can they find you online? Well, of course, I'm on the Twitter. You're well. on the tweets? At Never Lose Heart. If you guys are on Meerkat right now, you guys can get my tab right there. Message me. I'll follow you guys back. Um, I'm also on Vine, do some funny stuff, uh, rewind some great stuff what as kind well. kind of funny stuff? Some funny stuff. Like what? Give me an example. Um, popular videos, I guess you can say. What would you what do I right find now? funny. What would you Vine right now if you were Vining? Um, I wouldn't because there's nothing really... Oh, so you say I'm not interesting. This is not interesting right now for something I would rewind or Vine. But you can find me there and fight with heart. You have all these people watching and you just said we weren't interesting. That's terrible. It's not funny. We're trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I was serious. Okay. If we, if we were funny, maybe I might. Maybe I might start recording some stuff here. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, I'll do yeah. that too and, and promote myself. All right, so we can find you on Vine. Yes. Instagram. Instagram is fight underscore with underscore heart. Follow me. I don't really post anymore any, you know, Where else as can we much. find you? Um, I'm going to throw my Facebook out there again. You know, it's facebook.com fight with heart. And that's two T's at the end because fight with heart is taken. taken and I have also, a- if you're fight with heart with one T, uh, don't send Chris a message because he'll fight you for it. There is, hard. there is a lady on Twitter that has that name and she does not do anything. Her name is Susan and she doesn't. It, it's, wow, it's like shots a, fired at it's Susan. A, that's it's, messed up. It's a dead account and I want that account because that's like my trademark name. So, wow. Susan, if you're listening, give me the account. Maybe you need a new trademark name. It's not already taken. It's only taken on that one. Everything else I have. I don't know. I got nothing. That's about it. Okay. That's about it. Oh, um, Amiibo. You have any more? No. You just want to that's say all. It. I, I thought I had some Amiibo news, but I can't remember what it was now. Other than wave five is coming and it's going to be crazy. Good. You're going to release them on the show whenever they come in? Uh, it depends on when they come in in the week, if I open them on the show or not. Okay. You're too excited, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I well, love those Amiibo. All right. So, uh, let's get out of here. For me, James, the Mebo crew, the camera, the microphone, everybody on Periscope, Meerkat. There's no one on Periscope. Um, all right, so we're back next week, Wednesday, 7.45 p.m. live. Otherwise, you can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. Those usually go up Thursday night, Friday morning. YouTube usually goes up Friday, Saturday. It just depends on when we get the video edited. It yes. takes a longer to do the video than the audio. And uh, we're kind of like a two-man production team. Not you, I mean me and the wife. So you're not the really production a, man, team. a two-man. Well, woman. Yeah, one, one man, one woman. 
I think I think man kind of is a generic, you know, covers everyone. True. She's not offended by it if I say we're a two man crew. Good. Not the f- blue man crew. No, we're not the blue man <laughs> group. Get it right. All right, we're going off the rails. Let's get out of here. Take we'll see me. you guys again later. Peace.